بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہاؤ آر یو اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور ٹیچر آفتاب عالم اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی اسٹیٹس آف اکولیبریم یونٹ نمبر فور لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی سکس ناؤ فرسٹ وی ول اسٹڈی اسٹیٹس آف اکولیبریم اسٹیٹس آف اکویلیبریم So there are three states of equilibrium, stable state, unstable state, neutral state. These, are, these states can be illustrated in the following setup as shown in the diagram. First, stable state. When the cone is given a slight displacement, it is observed that the line through its center of gravity still passes through the base area. The center of gravity of the cone is also raised when the force is withdrawn. The object returns to its original stay position without toppling. The, object, the body is said to have a stable uh, equilibrium. Now I will explain it in the uh, diagram. If after a slight disturbance, for example, if you take an object like this, this is center of gravity. If you give a slight disturbance and the body is raised like this to this position, the center of gravity will be raised. If you remove the force, if you force is exerted in this direction, center of gravity will be raised. If you leave this, it will return back to its original position. Such type of, uh, such state of equilibrium, such state of, of a body is called stable state of equilibrium. When it's slightly disturbed, slightly disturbed, and it returns to its original state, then such state of equilibrium is called stable state of equilibrium. In modern buses, the luggage compartments are situated in the lower parts so as to lower the position of the center of gravity and hence increase the stability. Base is, ma uh, is made heavy in racing car to increase the stability because it lowers the center of gravity. So by increasing the, uh, the, the weight of the base, uh, the luggage of a compartment is made in the base to increase the weight of the base to lower the center of gravity. Stable, unstable state of equilibrium. If you disturb a body slightly, slightly, and it, it does not regain its original position, original position then the body is said to be in an unstable state of equilibrium for example if you take a pencil like this if you disturb it slightly it will adopt the new position position its center of gravity will be lowered so its center of gravity does not read the pencil does not regain its original position after slight tilt so it is called unstable state of equilibrium the cone has been balanced on its step when slightly displaced the vertical line through its center of gravity will fall outside its base when the force is withdrawn the cone will not be able to regain its original position and is thus said to be in to be in an unstable equilibrium most buses which carry heavy luggage on the top carrier are always unstable as their center of gravity are always raised. For example, if you can see this diagram, this pencil is in the state of unstable equilibrium. Unstable equilibrium. Because after slight tilt, after slight tilt 
it does not regain its original position neutral equilibrium if if you take an example like this ball if you give a slight push its center of gravity will be neither raised nor lowered so such bodies are said to be in uh, to be in state of neutral equilibrium the cone has been placed on its side and it therefore roll over however this does not change the position of its center of gravity hence the body is said to be in state in a state of neutral equilibrium factors affecting stability area of the base will affect the stability a body with a larger base area will have line through its center of gravity passing through its base even when tilted through a larger angle hence the larger the the base area the more will be the stability this pencil is in state of unstable equilibrium because after slight tilt it does not the center of gravity will be lowered it does not regain its original position so it will be in state of unstable equilibrium now if you can see this is stable equilibrium because if its center of if it is slightly tilted it will regain its original position this is unstable equilibrium and this is neutral equilibrium because after slight disturbance its center of gravity will neither raised nor lowered this is stable state of equilibrium because after slight disturbance the the ball will, will start its vibrate vibratory motion and it regain its original position after some time it if it is slightly tilted the body will not regain its original position so it is called unstable and this is neutral state of equilibrium this is stable equilibrium unstable neutral equilibrium it is given in the book now condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium first condition the sum of all forces acting on a body must be equal to zero in the body is said to be in, in equilibrium if the sum of all forces acting on a body is equal to zero sum of forces for example f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus dot 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 plus fn is equal to zero sum of all forces so this is called summation this is called f is equal to zero summation f is equal to zero so first condition of equilibrium can be stated in uh, can be stated as the sum of all forces acting on a body is equal to zero for example first condition of equilibrium can be divided into two types sum sum of all forces acting horizontally must be equal to zero the second part is sum of summation sum of all forces acting vertically is equal to zero this is the vertical component this is the horizontal component
for example if a body is given like this this is a body forces acting in this direction will be equal to the forces acting in the rightward direction if one if two if three if if three is 20 newton and if two is 10 newton and if one is also 10 newton these forces acting in this direction is 20 this uh, the forces acting in this direction will be also equal to 20 newton so the body will be in the state of equilibrium or otherwise upward force is equal to downward force is the second part the second part state that the upward force is equal to the downward force and the first part states that of the forces acting in vertical uh, in uh, one direction uh, acting in the rightward direction will be equal to the sum of forces acting in the leftward direction so the bar, the first condition consists of two parts the statement of first condition is sum of all forces acting on a body must be equal to zero the first part of the first condition is the sum of horizontal component of force must be equal to zero and the sum of vertical component of force must be also equal to zero then the body is said to be in equilibrium linear equilibrium now the second part the second condition state that uh, i will erase it then i will second condition of equilibrium second condition of equilibrium sum of all torque acting on a body must be equal to zero for example summation tau is equal to zero or clockwise torque is equal to anti clockwise torque a body is said to be in rotational equilibrium if sum of all torque acting on a body must be equal to zero we said that summation tau is equal to equal to zero sum of all torque acting on a body must be equal to zero sum of all torque acting on a first condition state that sum of all forces acting on a body is equal to zero second condition this is state that sum of all torque acting on a body is equal to zero this is summation read a sum of all sum of all torque acting on a body must be equal to zero then the body said to be in rotational equilibrium this chapter basically consists of turning effect of forces turning effect turning effect of forces first we explain parallel forces In parallel forces, we explain that point of action must be different. Two, there must be two forces at least. Point of action must be different, and line of action must be different and parallel. Different and parallel. If line of action or point of action are different, this is A point. This is B point. This is F one. This is F two. So line of action are different, point of action are also different and parallel. 
so these are called like parallel forces and a point of action is different but line of action are anti parallel are called unlike parallel forces then we explain addition of vectors addition of vectors is the second topic addition of vectors we explain addition of vectors in addition of vectors we add vectors by head to tail rule head to tail rule by joining the tail of first vector to the head of the second vector you obtain the resultant vector which have the same effect as the combined effect of two vectors then we explain resolution of forces resolution of forces erase this one resolution of forces in resolution of forces we explain that sine theta is equal to perpendicular by by high for the news cos theta is equal to base by high for the news tangent theta is equal to perpendicular by base uh, resolution of uh, uh, if we have y and x axis uh, x and y axis and we have a force f in x y plane uh, then the splitting up of this vector into two mutually perpendicular components is called resolution of vectors uh, for example draw perpendicular from this point on x axis this will give you the horizontal component which is acting along x axis and draw perpendicular on y axis this will give you the vertical component of force this is the vertical component as these components makes an angle of 90 degree with each other so they are called perpendicular vectors perpendicular perpendicular vectors perpendicular vectors are perpendicular components rectangular components of a vector because it makes an angle of 90 degree with x axis in which fx is equal to fx is equal to f cos theta and fy is equal to f sin theta and f is equal to fx square plus fy square square root this is the resultant vector then we explain rigid body a body which cannot produce deformation which cannot be deformed which cannot be compressed is called rigid body then we explain axis of rotation the line about which rotation take place is called axis of rotation then we explain line of action of force The line along which the force is acting is called line of action of force. Then we explain momentum. The distance between point of rotation, for example, this is point of rotation, F, fulcrum. This is point of action of force. This distance is called momentum. After that we explain principle of moments. Principle of, of moments.
a body is said to be balanced if the sum of clockwise moment acting on a body is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moment acting on it. Center of mass. Then we explain center of mass. Center of mass is the point if force is applied at that point and the body move then the body move without rotation if if that point is the center of mass then we explain center of gravity center of gravity center of gravity is the point where the whole weight of the body appears to act for example if we have circular shape object center of gra gravity will be the midpoint if we have rectangular shape object point of intersection of diagonal will be the center of gravity if we have rectangular shape object triangular then point of intersection of median will be the center of gravity will be the center of gravity so the it, center of gravity is the point at which the body can be balanced or the point about which the whole weight of the body appears to act is called center of gravity center of gravity of every of regular shape object is fixed regular shaped object is fixed and the irregular shape object can be calculated experimentally then we studied first condition and second condition of equilibrium first condition of equilibrium is sum of all forces acting on a body must be equal to zero and second condition sum of all torque acting on a body must be equal to zero this is today chapter this chapter is finished inshallah in next coming lecture we will do the short answers thank you students allah peace